let's discuss dividing integers. Now, the first crazy thing about division is that it has many different symbols. You can see a division looking like this, it means two divided by seven. It can look like a slash. That also means two divided by seven. It could be two using a division symbol, two divided by seven, or you could see the long division, which is two divided by seven. So anytime you see anything that looks like this, whether it's a, it looks like a fraction, a slash, a division symbol, or long division, they all mean divide, the same thing. So again, mathematicians and their special names, this again, no exception. The number that is going to be divided is called the dividend. The number that you're dividing by is called the divisor, and the result of that division is called the quotient. So division is the inverse operation of multiplication. Just like we said that addition and subtraction, they were the inverse operations or the opposite operations. And so we did, remember we changed an addition sentence into a subtraction sentence and we called it a fact family. Well, multiplication and division also have their own fact families and they are very much related. Now the signs for division, it works very much the same as it did with multiplication. 15 divided by three is equal to five. That's a simple division question. You want to take 15 divided into three groups and you would end up with five groups. So how can I rewrite this question so that it's a multiplication question? Well, it just simply means we're going to use these same numbers, multi uh, multiply two of them together to get the other number. Well, there's really only one way to do that. Three times five equals 15. Well, maybe there's two ways because I really could start with the five and multiply it by three. And we know that five times three is 15, just the same as three times five is 15. So we can start with the three or we can start with the five, but these are fact families because they're all related. <laughs> now let's have a look at negative 27 divided by negative nine. Now, it works very much the same as it did with multiplication. A negative divided by a negative ends up being a positive. What's that you say? Let's rewrite this as a multiplication sentence to see if that's tr correct. All right, so we want to use the same numbers that we've got here, rewrite it as a multiplication sentence like we did before. So I'm gonna start with the negative nine and I'm gonna multiply it by negative sorry, a positive three, that's the three, and we get negative 27. And if we remember from our multiplication, uh, when we one of our integers was negative, we do indeed get negative 27. Negative nine times three is negative 27, so negative 27 divided by negative nine has to be positive three. All right, so multiplication and division are inverse operations. So what happens when we try to divide by zero? Well, you have to think of it this way. If we have 16 divided by zero equals what? This is what we want to decide. Well, let's rewrite this as a multiplication question and see what happens. Zero times whatever this number is, equals 16. Is there any number that you can multiply zero by that will give you 16? There isn't. And when you try to do that in the math world, things start to blow up, so we do not divide by zero. And that is your lesson on dividing integers.